a couple of days ago, I promised that we would walk through the procedures relating to the Sunday services that are coming up on the 12th of July. And this also includes you being able to have a look at how the church is now set out. The first thing to remind you of is that the inside door into the church will not be open until 15 minutes before the start of either service. What we will have done is open the main outer doors and from the step will have measured two metre distances along the path so that you can stand at an appropriate distance from other people. 15 minutes before the service starts, the door will open. The first person comes in and needs to read the guidelines. These are a reminder of what I'm talking you through at the moment. There will be a list for each service reminding who has already booked pews. And if you haven't booked a pew, please don't turn up on spec. Something else which is quite important is that these facilities are not open on Sunday. After you've read the guidelines, you should move along to the sanitation station. That's where the Reverend Barbara is at the moment. And, first of all, sanitise your hands using a wet wipe and place that wet wipe into the bin line. I know that some of you like to hold the pew ends when walking down the aisle and if that is the case we ask that you put on a pair of the gloves provided but only provided you are not allergic to latex. The only aisle which is in use is the centre aisle. After you've used the sanitation station Please go down the centre aisle and take up the next open pew that is nearest to the front. Please go into your pew and don't forget it is a pew per family unit, whether you are a single person or a family of four or six. The Reverend Barber has sat at least halfway along the pew because we need to socially distance from the centre aisle as well. If you are one of the bigger family units, I do appreciate that you may in fact come quite close to the centre aisle. On the pews you will see that there are pieces of tape stuck down. And we do ask that you don't remove those because they are covering over Velcro which previously held the cushions in place and we don't want you to stick to the pews. As far as the pews are concerned, it is one pew in three which is in use. And we do ask that you fill up equally on both sides, not one side first and then the other. The service will be projected on the screen and myself and the Reverend Barbara will also be guiding you through it from the front. The service will last approximately half an hour. Then when we come to the end of the service, we want to empty the church from the back pew forward and again it is socially distanced and socially timed and so i'm going to allow the reverend barbara now to go to the back pew the reverend barbara will leave her pew and move to the centre aisle where 
located in front are the two tables in case you have collection which you wish to deposit. Each church identified separately. You then move to the sanitation station again. Deposit any gloves which you have used into the bin liner and take another wet wipe to sanitise your hands. Once that person leaves the sanitation station, the next pew can begin to empty. However, it is most important that having left the sanitation station, you leave the church building and the church grounds promptly. And the reason for that is that the church has been given a privileged position. And we don't want to abuse that position by having gatherings in the church grounds. I'm sure that if you haven't seen each other for a while, that you will be able to arrange to meet up to chat somewhere away from the church and its grounds. Hopefully that gives you a feel of how things are going to run. And of course, the written guidelines of what I have said are the first thing that you see when you enter on the Sunday morning. I'm looking forward to seeing you all to worship. Have a good day. <laughs>